Hello everybody, we are live at Brookvale Global for this round 26 clash. It's the Manly Sea Eagles taking on the Melbourne Storm. And the Storm, of course, despite already confirming their place in the finals, can improve their position with a win here today. But it has to be by 41 points or more. And that would see them leapfrog the Dragons into fifth place and a matchup in week one of the finals against the Penrith Panthers. They've rested four of their stars. Steve Turner will be their fullback. The rest of the back line is Geyer, Bell, McDougall, King, Hill and Cronk. The names missing from that back line are significant ones Slater and Orford are the omissions their forward pack is Chan Smith Howe Kidwell Glenn Turner comes off the bench into the second row for Stephen Kearney and Dallas Johnson is the lock forward the bench now for Melbourne is Hoffman Kafusi McFadden and Tanaloo so four of their big names out of this Melbourne storm side being rested and freshened for week one of the finals into the Seagulls room we go. Here's their back line today. Brett Stewart is the fullback. Donald Stevenson, Torrens, Bradley. Williamson will come off the bench and play in jumper 23. Monaghan is the captain and halfback. The forward back is Heckenberg, Randall, Luai, Hamono, Glenn Stewart, the brother of Brett, and Stephen Menzies, of course, fresh off his try scoring record last week. And the bench is Walker, Harris, Morwood, and Dunley. Quickly on charge down those kicks in the last play he will supply the dropout not a bad one either Monaghan in brilliant sunny conditions here suddenly at Brookvale Heckenberg it is who brings it back to within 30 of the Melbourne line the first real attacking chance here for the Seagulls is Hamono stopped there by Scott Hill He's 22 away. Randall from dummy half. Goes down the short side. Stewart is there with Albert Torrens. Ducks under one tackle. Got away from Alex Chan's poor efforts and scores the first try of the game. It was a simple play, but he loves a blindside raid. As we said, Chan Randall, they had the nudge. Pretty impressive this season, Lil White. Randall to Menzies. Comes to Heckenberg, who runs back towards the play the ball area on the angle stopped there by Rodney Howe and also Alex Chan he's 26 away when he plays it it comes to Hamono he puts a little step on when he came to Cameron Smith Randall looking for options will go to the left hand side where Monaghan waits for the first receiver a flat pass to Glenn Stewart off the left foot he went straight past Stephen Turner and Manly are in for number two a nice piece of play they didn't waste the chance to take it down the field. They are under pressure once again here. Stewart playing it. Williamson taking it over the 30 metre line. Manly has spent a good portion of this first half on the attack as Randall goes to Menzies. Melbourne, precious few chances themselves to speak over the other end of the field as Nick Bradley runs across the face of a lot of defenders. Walker goes to Monaghan. Walker wrapping around him. Gives it to Albert Torrens who will die for the corner and score his second try of the afternoon. Pass but well picked off by Menzies. Johnson again been very busy himself down the middle of the park now and then a good offload from Hoffman it came back to Cooper Cronk who showed it when himself Steve Turner was tackled there on suspicion the tackle count continues on they go to the right hand side McDougall rubbering wanting it to sit down chasing through with Stephen Bell who made a play at it and Steve Lyons will check it you're cracking me up playing for, for Melbourne as they go to the left hand side and Ryan Hoffman will play it back to Smith here's Turner now stepping off the right foot met there by Phil Morwood and also Shane Dunley Smith from dummy half another raid here's Chan down the middle of the park Turner is there so is Cooper Croft Chan Jamie Lyon an interested spectator watching on here at Brookvale there were plenty of rumours that wanted him to link up with the Seagulls. He said himself he wouldn't have mind playing here at Brookvale, but he's off to the UK Super League to play with some... Billy Slater alluded to. Already you can see a noticeable lift in intensity from Melbourne in that department. Really working hard. Kerfusi it is who plays it just a couple of metres away. Smith at dummy half. Goes to Cronk. Johnson runs a decoy. It came back on the inside to Alex Chan, who almost forced his way over. Now Smith. 
Comes back to Cooper. Kronk, who will die for the line. A good decoy run by Dallas Johnson. And the manly eyes went to the decoy man. Dunley, again, from dummy half to Williamson, slipping over as he comes to the Melbourne Storm defence. Cooper Cronk was there to make the tackle. Nick Bradley gives it to Monaghan. Here's Heckenberg. Four tackles gone in this set of six. Their first real chance at this end of the field in the second half. Monaghan back on the inside there for Menzies. Stopped by Hoffman. Still standing. He had the ball up there. It was knocked out. Stewart picks it up. He'll plant the ball down. And for the second time in two weeks, the Storm scored their first try of the day. Dunley comes back to Monaghan. Got the kick in with plenty of distance on it from well inside his 40. The bounce wasn't the one he was looking for. He wanted it to go towards the sideline. That would have put Steve Turner under some real pressure. And he weaves back past two chases to be picked off there by Dunley. He's been great this afternoon, Steve Turner. We've mentioned the fact that he's playing with injury. And Matt King, what a run from the big fella. Gets away from Williamson. He's got Guile with him. The birthday boy looking for a four-pointer. Oh, Stopped there by Donald. Uh, Cooper going to the right-hand side. Here's McDougal coming back to Brookvale, looking for a try. Got the ball down eventually, but was he tackled before he got to the ground? Well, he's happy. He thinks he scored. Couldn't tell. The, the assistant to Brian Smith at Parramatta next year. Paul Simpkins has looked at it in all sorts of angles and speeds. He says no. The odds would have been slim. Here's Cronk with the scrum feed. He gives it to Andrew McFadden. He goes wider still to McDougall. Stewart there once again to try and make the tackle, but Menzies got across with the help of Williamson. Turner comes back to Ryan Hoffman. There's almost an obstruction play there, and the Manly defenders were appealing for one as Smith from dummy half will come back to David Kidwell. He'll surge for the post himself. An offload would have been handy. Here's Hill to the line himself, and he'll score this time. A fast play, the ball, in fact, two of them in a row. And this will be the last for Melbourne. Smith hurries to dummy half. Comes back to Cooper Cronk, who puts it high in the air. Under it, Nick Bradley flew for it. It came down for Melbourne. They've got six more tackles. Hoffman has it. He's just five metres out from the manly line. They're four behind. They can rectify that right here as they charge for the line. McDougall had a dip. Alex Chan waiting for it at dummy half. They fire it back to Cameron Smith, an awkward pass. Kidwell runs onto one, gets in behind him. A lovely ball. It came back for Steve Bell. He grabs his second of the afternoon, and the Melbourne Storm have locked it up at 20 each. Oh, good play, good pass by Davies. He was there waiting for an offload, and Hamono can supply one on occasions as Monaghan comes to Torrens, a flat pass there, wrapped up by Stephen Bell. They take it inside the Storm 20. Randall to Monaghan. Morwood runs the decoy. It bounces up for Walker. He goes on to Stevenson. A lovely step off the right foot, but good defence from Cooper Cronk coming across in cover. Here's Nick Bradley again. Alama for the line. He's only a metre short. Last play here for Manley. Stevenson to Walker. He'll put the crossfield bomb in. A chance for Donald once again to resume that battle with King. It comes down for Scott Donald. They all grabbed at it. And we will wait and see, though, with the kick. And he couldn't get it away as a consequence. Now Randall from dummy half runs it on the last. He flings it back desperately to Heckenberg. Now Monaghan with the left foot puts a kick in. It bounces away from Steve Turner. Scott Donald keeps it in play. Now there's a race on it. Stevenson, who comes up with it, he scored a try for Manly. What about that for a piece of footwork? That is the last tackle, Simon. The Manly fans dancing underneath the big screen. It's on the line. Randall only just stopped him. Smith goes back to the short side. Now he comes to the right. Stopped there by Randall once again with Morewood over the top. Cronk from dummy half. He finds Andrew McFadden. Kidwell, a flat pass. He's a couple of metres out. Four tackles gone. McFadden runs a long way, showing it. Ducked into the tackle there of Randall. Monaghan was able to stop him, though. Smith 
Gives it to Kronk. Last play for Melbourne. Here's Scott Hill to the line. He gets across and scores to put the Melbourne Storm in the lead again. Well, it's again, it's a favourite play of the Melbourne Storm. Technique, hasn't he? Johnson. Been really aggressive here this afternoon. Monaghan, short ball. He hung on to it. Menzies was there. He'll play it just 10 metres away. Here's Randall on play number five to Walker. They've got them going backwards. Torrens knocked it on. But Melbourne, up inside the 10, can see the penalty. And Manley will keep the pressure on. Mate, wait a second, what are you doing? Monaghan wants to take the quick tap. He'll give it to Randall. Here's Williamson. Melbourne trying to hang on desperately here. They're three minutes away from heading into the finals with a win. Menzies, though, for the line will score. That will make it 28 each with the kick to come from a fairly simple angle. You would think Manly will have a lead here with about two minutes to play. Yeah, Manly will go on and win this game. Three minutes to go. I've declared it. It's a certain... And then they'll have the chance to come up with something after the bell. Watch the siren the sounds line. again. There's a number of them here today. The tap. It comes from Bell. Here's Cronk firing it over the head of Steve Turner. That's not what they were hoping for. Geyer has it. And that will do us here at Brookvale. Manly will finish the season with a win. They've beaten the Melbourne Storm 30 points to 28 to make it three wins in their last four games. Nine victories in the season now. Steve Menzies celebrates with a try. And the Melbourne Storm will finish in sixth place and play the Brisbane Broncos in week one of the finals next week. Yeah, and what a great game that shapes up to be. The Melbourne Storm, don't read anything into this performance from them this afternoon. They will be a lot stronger when they take on Brisbane next Saturday night. But the Eagles, they can take plenty of confidence into next year. They finished the, the year off very strongly. Had 21 new players at their club this year took it long took it long for their combinations to work out there were some class players coming to the club next season things are looking good albert torrance and matt king after having something of a battle this afternoon themselves chat about things as steve menzies got across the line it was the try that tied us up at 28 each and then andrew walker kicked the goal to put Manly back in the lead. Fans of all shapes and sizes and ages were doing the war dance here at Brookvale. And they finished the season with a win. Torren scored two tries. Glenn Stewart, Brett Stewart also scored. Donald and Menzies likewise. Walker kicked two from four. Williamson won from two. Bell and Hill scored doubles for the Storm. Gronk also crossed as they came up two points short. Cameron Smith kicked four from five and that'll do it here at Brookvale this afternoon they might be bruised but they certainly weren't but from the Sydney Town Hall and thank you for joining us here today as the Manly players go around and shake the hands of the fans who've come to Brookvale we bid you farewell on behalf of Laurie Daly and Russell Fairfax I'm Warren Smith until we see you next time make sure you keep watching all the great action right here on Fox Sports